Hey, Bourbon Bay. This is Stephen, your host with Bourbon Bay Talks, and I'm joined with by Lemon Cash. Uh, and yeah, we're going to talk our another episode of Whiskey Music Hour, and I'm going to let them introduce themselves and talk a little bit about the band. So, guys, go ahead and uh, introduce yourselves to everybody. <laughs> well, my name is Corey. I'm Jeff, and we are brothers from Ottawa, Canada. Uh, we're a country duo. Um, we've been been a country band for about uh, two years now. Uh, we just released our first EP uh, back in 2019. Okay, so about three years now. Then. Um, yeah. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, it was the end of 2019. So, anyways. Um, yeah, and we, uh, our new, our follow-up EP is going to be coming out uh, anytime soon now, probably within, in the summer. Uh, so, we're looking forward to that. And, uh, Jeff, anything you'd like to add? Maybe? Yeah. Yeah. Um, we we just been releasing some music. Uh, it sucks because ever since we made this uh, transition in the country, I guess we released our first EP in 2019, but we've kind of worked with a new producer who's known as Jeff Dalziel, and he kind of, we released our first kind of step into the whole, like more of a serious t- kind of, you know, step into the, the music with uh, with our single Wine Tonight. So it was done professionally with a, like a, you know, real producer not not just like a, a buddy who we kind of were working with and we released the music there but um yeah so it sucks because all of our music we released so far has been through a pandemic so it's been kind of hard to kind of rub people in the right way because i know there's a lot of people that have kind of taken a, a huge hit from what's been going on and do they really care about a band releasing music so it's just <laughs> it's been tough to try and get that so um we've got lots of music coming out and uh, we've been releasing so we have a new song out right now called locked up and it's about actually the lockdowns you've been having because you probably heard in canada ontario that's been so many lockdowns and uh (laughs) we just decided to write a song about it and make it lighthearted. and there's a funny video that goes along with it it's on youtube right now and it's kind of shows off our sense of humor because that's who we are we're fun loving funny goofballs that like to make music so that's who we are well, yeah, and um, is there like kind of any or uh, like how you guys got started? What was uh, the process that you guys, you know, like, hey, when did we decide to start this band, or you know, like any funny stories kind of that lead up to that? Or, well, I'm sure. Well, we, I, we should have said this first. Uh, Lemon Cash. If anyone's scratching their head, going, what does that mean? Uh, well, it started off. Corey and I, we used to play covers in our basement like i was a uh, the drummer and Corey would play his guitar and we, we'd start off by just playing covers and it formed into something that we actually wanted to pursue so one evening we were talking to our mom and the 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 idea of a band name was always in our mind and we were trying to figure that out at the time because we wanted to form a band so that's what was going on so we were talking to our mom one evening we were just chatting and uh she mentioned the story of when we were young how we had a, a lemonade stand when we were very young and she was just saying, long story short, because the story can, can carry on, but um, the money that we made, there was a few neighbors stopped by to get to, you know, have some of our lemonade. And we always would run up to her with uh, the change because we got so excited and we'd call it lemon cash because it was change that we used to buy more lemons to make more lemonade because I was always concerned that what if we sell out of this stuff, you know, we're not going to have any more to make. So we just referred to the money that we made to buy more lemons and we call it cash for some reason. It's not the cash you made. So lemon cash is the, uh, pretty much the, uh, the idea of what the band name is. And yeah, yeah. When that came up, we were like, Oh, yeah, we, like, Oh, we call it lemon cash. And then we just kind of like, Oh, light bulb went off. That's like, right. kind of a cool name. For <laughs> like, well, I'll go with that. You know, and there's a story behind it too. So we may as well. And well, that's where the name came from. <laughs> and I, Kind of, yeah, as you guys were talking, you guys said this is, you kind of just started to get into country. Was there like some a music you were doing a little bit before that? or? Yes, we were actually, like we were a five-piece rock band, actually. Uh, that started in, I think, 2012. Uh, yeah, and then when we were a band for about, I think, five or six years. And it was funny because, um, like, we all wrote songs together, like all five of us. But then whenever I wrote a song, like like by myself, 
I, I bring it to the band. I'd be like, oh, what do you guys think of this? And they're like, yeah, it's a good song and everything. It just sounds a little too country. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> uh, and then I kept getting like, when I, when I play shows, a lot of people would, you know, say like, oh, you, you guys should try doing country. You guys have a, you know, you got like a country look, bit of a country sound. I was like, oh, really? Yeah, okay. And, but obviously the other guys didn't want to do it. But then uh, eventually we kind of just decided to part ways, not just all in good terms, all good terms yeah. amicably. And then <laughs> Jeff and I just said, hey, you know what? Why don't we uh, try the country thing out? You know, obviously uh, from what we've heard, we're suited for it. So let's let's go for it. So uh, we, yeah. uh, then that's that, that happened about two years ago. So yep. And we've always been um... – Growing up, that's all we listened to. Like our parents listened to country. Our dad was a big guy. Uh, dad was a big music guy, so he got us into listening to a whole bunch of stuff. But mostly, it was it was country, you know, from all sort of Tim McGraw was our favorite. Garth Brooks, you know, we yeah. grew up listening to that. Joe Diffie. Um, and there's just so many, and it's hard to list off right at the top of your head. But uh, we always had this like that was the root of like our. It was like the gateway to exploring all this other music because we listened to every like all sorts of genres but it doesn't mean we like everything but it, it's also just like it was a gateway that got us into loving music you know and it, we loved country because it just was so soulful and, and meant a lot and like it just very meaningful music you know and it's something that really drew us to just absolutely loving music and uh, to, the, to the point where we want to create it so I, can, I think that's probably why we just inadvertently we try to write something for let's say we want to write a pop song, it'll still sound country because that's just something that's in their soul, right? So, um, so yeah. And then in five, being a five piece rock band is is hard enough as it is because you're always bunk bonking heads over something, you know. Whether someone doesn't want to do this, someone doesn't want to do that, and it's it's really hard to kind of, you know you know, just kind of lead the path as to what you're thinking in your head. And it's really hard because not everyone's thinking the same. So now that Corey and I are together uh, doing our thing, it's uh, it's so much easier because we, we seem to agree on it and everything. We hardly ever disagree, but, and it's just an easy process. So, <laughs> so I and mean, then you guys are brothers, right? Or yeah. Yes. Yeah. So how does that relationship kind of work out to being in a band together and stuff? So. <laughs> It's no oasis <laughs> yet, but uh, uh, it's not like uh, no, like I, I like I said, it's it's just been an easy. Like we've been in the, the country genre. Well, we've been doing this thing just us for what three years now, and I think we've been. Uh, I don't know. A lot of things have been happening for the better for the band. We've been uh, yeah. on a good path. Got a manager now who uh, set us up with this interview and yep. I, I know we've been lot, uh, linked with the Rivertown Saints, yeah. you know, that you've, you've done the interview with them and that's kind of how we got this. So we're lucky for them. Yeah, they so, they kind of took us under their wing and kind of, you know, like showed us a lot of, uh, showed us the ropes kind of of being in the country music industry and yeah, it all under the same manager. So it's like, it's one big family, you know, so it, and it's, uh, yeah, they, they welcomed us with open arms and we're ready to kick some ass with them, you know? So, uh, <laughs> So it is like a good like partnership and a good like you said like a good relationship that you guys have and they kind of help you guys out with things. So far, yeah. it's it's been uh, yeah, nothing has happened and uh, for the for the bad or you know what do you want to call it? Nothing nothing bad's happened yet. I, mean, I don't want to say yet. I, I don't see it. <laughs> don't, we don't have a Motley Crew and uh, Guns and Roses singing. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's uh, it's been a good easier process for sure. We don't have other knuckleheads in the band trying to you know get, get them on the same page as you. So so far so good. No, no complaints. We're uh, rocking and rolling, but country and country and I don't know rocking. And rolling. <laughs> <laughs> so I like, I mean I know up there in Canada right now. You guys like you mentioned it's. There's been a lot of lockdowns, especially out in Ontario and Ottawa. But I mean, has it opened up a little bit to where like you can go to different venues to perform, like go out to some bars and perform yet, or yep. kind of help you guys yeah. get your name? Yeah, like the uh, I guess the we used to need proof of vac vaccination to get into certain places. So that's been lifted, so that's good. And then as of March 21st, there's going to be no more masks, so it seems to be going in the direction where. Uh, you know, like, like there's a big festival here in Ottawa called Blues Fest that had been canceled the last. Yeah, yeah, I've heard of it. That's finally going on now, so uh, 
it just seems like uh, everything's going to be open during the summer. We're finally going to get to see, if you don't get to get to play all those festivals that we couldn't before. Yeah. And uh, so, yeah. But we, uh, during the actual, well, I, I don't know if it was, because we would be in lockdown and then they would lift the lockdown and we'd be able to do things, but it would be restricted. But we did have uh, gigs that we were able to play and it was called drive-in shows. So people would be in their cars watching us play. So we were able to play shows like that during the, the pandemic, which was great because we were able to kind of, you know, make a little bit of money, you know, yeah. uh, and, just, and and kind of still do what we love while this the world was figuring itself out but um yeah it was a cool experience playing to you know cars would come in and they would sit in there and it'd be kind of like uh be a weird feeling eh? like playing it to, to, usually you have a you're kind of getting more you get kind of fired up from the crowd when you can yeah. see people giving you high yeah. fives and stuff like that and dancing but when people are in their cars you're like are they even listening to us and then when a song would end <laughs> They would honk their horns and give it, instead of an applause or a, a cheer, you know. Yeah. So it'd be very, very odd. It's, but it's uh, it was a kind of a cool experience. Yeah, and then you know try to make, try to make a joke on stage or something. You look around. Uh, yeah. Anybody get that? Or yeah. You know, laughing, yeah. Yeah. But, uh, it was it was hard to get the vibe off the, the crowd, but it was uh, it, it was, was an still, experience. It was, it was definitely an experience. I'm I'm just glad that we don't. Uh, I, I think we're kind of moving away from that now. Seems like it, yeah. I prefer seeing people up close at the stage and and uh, having a pair of underwear thrown or, or two at, thrown at us. <laughs> yeah, I was going to ask, like, how was that experience in playing in front of, like, a bunch of driving? <laughs> I think they kind of did that a little bit down here, here, there, but. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah it, was, it was cool. But uh, yeah. like I said, glad to be playing and hopefully playing in front of a crowd soon. So I think that's what, what's going to be happening with this summer, hopefully. Well, uh, yeah. And then you guys had mentioned that you have a lot of songs coming out. And so, like, what's kind of your guys' process in, you know, writing some of these songs and coming up with the songs? And well, it's, if you uh, want to reveal that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, of course. It's, yeah, it's mostly, it's mostly been uh, just me and Jeff. Um, writing together kind of thing like a lot of the times so uh, he'll come up with a with a melody or a start to a song and then i'll take over or vice versa i'll start the song and he'll take over and then it just kind of like a you know 50 50 right type of thing but lately we've been trying to uh, you know expand that start doing co-writes writing with other people yeah and i guess you know you, you kind of figure out how other people's processes work and sometimes like you know it, sometimes it gels sometimes it doesn't but uh, at least we know that we gel well together so uh, we no, we try to do most of our writing like the, the two of us, but yeah, we're definitely like, we're trying to be open to try to be open exactly to, to write with people. other people. And it, it it's also it's a hard thing to do at times to write with other people because it's I find when you present an idea and maybe sometimes it you have it it's not fair to to whoever's trying to help you out write an idea that you have because in your head no one can read your mind right. So at times it could veer off into a direction that you may have thought like that you may not want it to go into. And, and then you kind of, you can't tell a person, no, like this idea sucks. Like I don't want to do this. So you kind of go along with it and it's just, you should be open to the idea of where it could go. Cause I'm sure most of the time it will go into something different and probably really, really good thing will happen from it. But when you already have it in your head and you kind of had it mapped out as to what you want, it's sometimes really difficult to kind of, you know, right with, with someone else that maybe ha may have another direction. So it's and nice to have Corey to, to, to share ideas that we're kind of on the same page where I can kind of we listen to the same music pretty much. So it's easy to go, hey, you know that part in this song? When he, oh, yeah, yeah, that's what I was thinking for this. Like sometimes other people may listen to completely different music that we do, and it's hard to kind of reference ideas. So. Mm. Yeah, and one thing that's been pretty cool lately is we've been, we're working with a new producer, and he's actually, he has... He has a bunch of songs that he's written with other people and he presents us the idea kind of like, what do you think of these? Would you be interested in, in recording these? And I always think like, that's kind of an art form in itself too, being able to choose the right yeah. songs for me, because not every song is going to be a hit or not, you know what I mean? So it's, if he gave us a list of about, I think it was about 12 songs and we picked three of them. So hopefully we made the right choice. We'll find out, but we're going to be, uh, we're going to be, <laughs> we're going to be recording those soon. Uh, actually first week of April, he's going to be coming down to Ottawa. He lives in Vancouver. So he's going to come down to Ottawa. Oh, wow. 
And yeah, we're looking forward to it. And uh, yeah, we're going to release one in the summer. So uh, man, like I said, hopefully we made the right choice in our. Uh, in, uh, <laughs> it's, it's actually such a treat to like not have to write a song and just pick <laughs> whatever you think suits your band and like you know what what sounds good to our ears so it was like nice to like just choose a from a list and go yeah okay we can do this like you're giving us this like song to do this is great so, and this producer is awesome dan swinemer he's done some great work uh he's he's up and coming in the into the uh country um community or country world i guess and he's got a lot of songs on the radio that it, it just he's just got the finally it's great to work with a, a producer that's going to make us just pop and give us that you know that radio sound that we need that to compete against the other chart toppers there so hopefully we'll have a chance and great guys yeah great guys, yeah, that's awesome. great guys. Which is always important totally so that's, that's why i work with them. Well, we're excited yeah. Yeah, we're looking <laughs> <laughs> and then um like i know you guys have mentioned i growing up you listen to a lot of country music um was there any like particular artist that kind of like really inspires you guys, or um, any uh, particular genre? There's a there's a lot in terms of who like influence, but my favorite, uh, I'd say my favorite country artist of all time would be Kenny Chesney. I'm a, I'm a big Kenny Chesney guy. That's uh, that'd be my pick. But in terms of like influences, like like obviously he's one of them, but there's so many. Oh, there's way too many. But uh, I don't know if you have a particular favorite, like top. Oh my god. Like I, I've always been like I don't I love Brooks and Dunn. Like I've always that's why the yeah. duo do the duo like they've have so many. I got any artist that could really do everything the upbeat songs, the sad songs, the the powerful yeah. flow songs, the feel good songs. You know, so I've always drawn myself. I found myself drawn to that type those types of band type artists. So. Um, like right now I can just, cause I'm always trying to listen to new music more and more and try to kind of keep us in, in what everyone's listening to. And I absolutely love old dominion right now. So that's for me, it's my influence yeah, at this point in time. Great songwriters. They do everything too. Like it's they fun songs, you know, sad songs, you know, feel good songs and their lyrics are very clever and, and it's always very nice that to, 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 it's very influential you know you get really yeah you, you get influenced by that kind of stuff and it really it inspires you that's the word i was looking for it inspires steve, you steve who are the top artists in, in florida like who who are the like the top guys florida the georgia radio? line florida. <laughs> <laughs> yeah i mean they're definitely really good uh i know that country music hall of fame just did a display it for them i mean like my favorite i'll tell you is zach brown oh uh, there you go. that's who i thought you were gonna say Jack yeah brown. i see you put me on the spot like that yeah. you were actually just <laughs> saying a zach brown song before we came on here she's got one. oh yeah which one whatever it is the oh yeah album. i love that one yeah uh, what an album that's the foundation album is probably up, up my top top five albums unbelievable yeah yeah. No, I mean, I love, like you said, like the songs that were people you can just go that are really popping high energy songs all the way through your sad. And I mean, he's, he's just great at it. You know, he just has all, and how he likes to go into the different genres too. I just yeah, love how yeah, he does yeah. that. Totally. Um, That's like I remember the heavy as the head that he did. That version was awesome. Yeah, he's like a real like metalhead too, Zach. Like the band, they, yeah. they did, when I went to see them live, they did like a Metallica song, I "Entered Sandman." And I was like, "This yeah. is, it doesn't all have to be country all the yeah, time." Yeah. Like, yes, you, right. they, 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 <laughs> you know, want to see a band that, that that plays country music to do like a song like that. It's, that's always really cool to see, especially live. I was like, "This is really cool." I I also love the fact that he's classically trained too. I found that that kind of cool. Like, oh yeah. yeah. The that's neon just, strings and yeah, because like you see when he plays nylon strings, there. like he starts doing this thing, and they're, they're like, "What are you doing right there?" Oh, sorry, I, that, that's a G, but I'm I'm playing, I'm doing my he's class, he's doing it way up here, and it's like, well, what? How is that a G? What? Are you, what? But anyway, it's a very very <laughs> talented band. This knows the guitar inside and out. You know, it's great. Yeah, and yeah, I mean, he, yeah, he's definitely great. I love like when I went to a concert of his, I think he played Bohemian Rhapsody, and oh, you know. Oh, wow. Oh yeah, it was awesome. <laughs> like when you get to that, that's a hard song to do. Definitely. Holy. Yeah, yeah, they did a really good job with that. 
I wish they would uh, come back to, to Ottawa because mm-hmm. I would go see them. I, I would even make a little trip to go see them too, but they never are in anywhere in the <laughs> proximity where I always have to. I would either have to fly or drive more than ten hours to go see them. So uh, maybe I mean it's always always a trip I'd like to make, but uh, I'm waiting for them maybe to get a little closer. So, but we'll see. But uh, yeah, yeah, Zach Brown, man, definitely one of my favorite bands. I, I don't know. I'm actually upset. I did not say that, but I'm happy you did, Steve. So I uh, really, really love those guys. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, anytime. Um, Karen, changing a little bit different subjects is uh, going in, like, I know we were talking about earlier with you guys, like, in Jim Bean, and, uh, but any other kind of, like, favorite drinks that you guys like to drink when you're out there? Maybe, like, at a bar or performing or spiking some socks? Like, I always... <laughs> I I always say like I I don't have it as often as I you know because I say this is my favorite drink but it's like you wouldn't think because I don't have it that often but I'm I'm a big Crown and Coke guy like that's my uh, yeah. I, I love I love Crown and Coke it's, uh, well or any rye and Coke but it's usually Crown if, yeah if I could like stomach it and and I could drink that all night which I can't I would love to be able to drink uh, Crown or yeah rye and Coke like I think that's such a tasty drink. But I mean, God, the hangovers are bad after that. You're drinking so much pop. You're drinking, you know, and then the rye too. But it's just, it's not the healthiest drink. So I, I try to stay away from darker drinks. But for me, I'm just like a straight, like I like beer. And it doesn't really matter what, maybe Bud Light or, um, you know, the odd crap beer but i mean i like something lighter but i, I like tequila i'll just shoot it straight and that's 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 pretty much what i'll have tequila and club soda and lime is probably like if i were to make say like a, a mixed drink that i make it's probably that that that's a good one club soda and tequila and lime sounds good and like i think you mentioned like you like the jose cuervo typically with the tequila or that's that would be yeah, really, you're, not, you're not so much that's as long as I it's, like it's if it's silver yeah i'm not a gold tequila guy but if it's silver i don't, I don't mind the silver turbo you should you try to ask him on the gold tequila. <laughs> so yeah before the pandemic were you guys able to kind of do any tours or uh or any kind of like just getting out there to have a concert or, or like any uh, stories that from that 2020 honestly was set to be the summer that we were gonna start because that's when we started uh we we had our songs uh, some songs out some people yeah. were and that was when we got to know we signed or i guess we, yeah we signed on with uh, our manager tino with when rivertown saints that's when so we were all you know we were planning on going on you know doing a lot of the festivals so uh that was supposed to be but then the pandemic hit so we didn't really get to but now we're hoping this summer is going to be but but pre-pandemic we did get our first show under like out of the way you know the icebreaker because we had to find some guys to play for us because we were only two right we need a guitarist we need a, we need a bass player and we had a keyboardist too at the time so we were a five piece and we had played at this brewery here in ottawa overflow and it was our first ever show with like the new members of our band like our you know our uh, or hired hired guns as you want to call them and uh it was nice to finally get that out of the way because you know you, before like the pandemic like you, we just you would just never know how we would sound like we, we practice you know what i mean and stuff like that but anyways um so we had a couple shows and we and then we sold out uh our local bar here in barham where we grew up from um and it's uh it was called greenfields so we played a bunch of covers one night they asked us to play we packed the place which was awesome and i think that was our last show before uh the pandemic hit so we had two shows under our belt with the new band and everything and it was great but uh yeah now it's just playing whatever we can get so we're lucky to get at least a few things. But, <laughs> so that uh, greenfields is that an irish bar or? yeah it is, eh? it is. yeah because we have a place down here called that same name but Kind of oh, fitting oh, for yeah. St. Patrick's Day. Kind of. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's um yeah right down in Tampa. It's like in this place called Curtis Six and Park, which is right downtown. And then like, so would you say that um like typically with some of the country songs you guys like, what is some of your? I mean, I know you probably shouldn't say, hey, one is my favorite or not, but I mean, is oh, there a particular favorite song of yours <laughs> of your guys's lineup? 
Hmm? Favorite song of ours or favorite country song? Are we talking like? Well, yeah, one of your guys' favorite songs from your yourself are uh, from Lemon Cash. Oh, cool. So, uh, yeah, I have to say is this, uh, this song called "Someone." It was the one that we re- released before the one that we just. Re- so I think we released. When was it? It was. Uh, we released it in August, I think. No, or yeah, no, January, January. 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 Yeah. So, yeah. We filmed the video in August, I think. Was, yes. Yeah. Um, yes. Yeah, I, I I would have to say the same thing. See how we agree? It's not it's never an argument. Nothing's ever an argument. You guys, so much. <laughs> I, this I, is the older brother. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, no that it, that song, someone. It's like the this. It's the perfect. It's the ty- type of tempo that we like. It. It's not too upbeat and like party. It's not sad. It's just kind of right in the middle. And it's just it's just like a powerful, good, like catchy. Well, what we think is catchy. Um, it's just that it's just that that sound, that vibe, the the perfect vibe of, of a song. And that, and I think it's what what we like about it most. Just resonates with us more because that's the type of tune we like. So it's kind of like a Florida Georgia line sipping on fire. You know, it's kind of got that cool <laughs> guitar, sexy guitar riff, yeah. and it just hits you like just oh this song is awesome like you just want to like you're driving down the road and you're just kind of like reflecting you know it's it's just kind of that that type of song so someone uh we recorded a video at greenfields too actually believe it yeah. or not so we were able to rent out that bar and film nice. half of it there and then half of it on a beach so it's like the golden hour the sun was just kind of setting and we're in the mm-hmm. uh, kind of on the beach and then i played the bartender and Corey had uh, played the uh, the guy that was picking up the girl at the bar. So check it out on YouTube, man. It's someone, um, it's just got that vibe. And I think we've kind of captured it with that beach scene from it. And hopefully you'll understand what I mean with the vibe. But yeah, I think it's our. Yeah. No, I, yeah. <laughs> Good dude. And uh, did you guys maybe want to play a little bit of it or? Oh, yeah. Unless you guys got your instrument for you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> <I'm> sorry. <laughs> No, it's all good. Just, just putting you guys on the spot wherever I can. We really weren't prepared for that. Pull up the microphone. And, no. <laughs> <laughs> like seen an anchor man or he has to play the jazz flute. I'm really not prepared for it. Pulls it out of his jacket. <laughs> <laughs> all right, here we go. Uh, trying to, are you comfortable? Yeah. Yeah. I'm good. Come on, like this. Yeah, here we go. So this one's called Someone. <laughs> Said he was taking you out. Oh, he cancels again. He drank too much. Wonder why you stick around. He let you down again. Ooh, you're thinking about leaving him. Ooh, but you're comfortable when you're with him. Ooh, don't think about it too much. You think that he's in love, but it's just like he lost your trust and you need someone who needs you. Someone to please you. Someone who needs 
someone to please you, someone who sees you, just like I do tonight, baby, I am that someone. You should be moving on. That was great, guys. Appreciate that. Right. So people can find that off of uh, YouTube and like Spotify and other Apple Music, Spotify, YouTube. Yeah, you said it everywhere. Amazon Music. Yeah, all the all the streaming uh, music listening. Awesome. Yeah, I mean, God, listening to that song, man, it made me feel like being on the beach down here in Florida. Oh, no, yeah. Especially during the sunset. Yeah. Oh, that's good. That's awesome. Yeah, it's yeah. great. I appreciate that. Um, yeah, no problem. Glad you like it. Thank you. So yeah, and you guys said that you got um so any like kind of things you guys like to do to relax and like when you're not out in the studio recording songs or writing songs, like what what are some of the things you guys like to do to just relax and chill and going to the beach, like no uh, <laughs> word of a lie, going to the beach. Really? Going to the beach down there in Florida and uh, <laughs> <laughs> you forgive me that. No, yeah, seriously. Um uh, you know, h- hanging out, uh, hanging out with friends. You know, going for drinks at the bar. You know, I'm, I'm also like we, we, we like to like we like movies, shows. Uh, we like to read as well. I like, um, um, I, I love, like cook, like cooking a good, like my favorite part of like even during the week is like after you're done work, you come home, you got you know something in, in mind of what you want to make for dinner, and then you've got all the ingredients which you're you're super happy about because now you don't have to go to the grocery store. You got it all there. You cook it, you yeah, have a little glass of wine if you want, you got your music playing and then you eat it. And then after you just, you put on a show or a movie or something you've been binging or whatever, or just something you're looking forward to watch and just sitting down and relaxing and not having, I, I find that so something that we just take for granted and we should really appreciate being able to, to do that. And at any time downtime that we have to sit down and watch TV, like it's such a treat, you know? You have people who probably come home and have like all, all this family to, to kind of take care of and they're working so many they don't have time to do that. So we're just I, I just feel like I'm lucky that I, I get to do that and have time to do that. So and any time to just not do anything. That's I like <laughs> try to find that. And uh because sometimes life can get really busy. So yeah. I feel like we would be good friends because I love to do that. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Especially with a little but, bit of yeah, and, then, and some beach drinks. Yeah, like that's bourbon. When you pack a little cooler and you go to the beach and then, especially at that sunset hour, you know, in this like six o'clock, seven mm-hmm. o'clock time. Yeah, I find it's just the more like, that's when you want to start playing Lionel Richie all night long. You know, all those oh. little, you know, <laughs> just put you in that vibe. <laughs> or Free by uh, Zach Brown Band. Oh yeah. oh, yeah. Good song. Yeah, that's one of my faves too. So, yeah, man. I just, uh, I'm a big fan of uh, taking it easy and not, you know, trying to just not take life too seriously sometimes because uh, there are moments where you can get down on yourself. And that's why we're happy we have music as an outlet to just kind of get away from what's crazy out there and, and try to just do what you love and get in that mindset of what, what you should be doing to yourself, telling yourself, trying to trying to find that little bit of happiness every day because it's hard to find. Yeah, definitely some good advice for up and coming artists or just everybody in general. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then, uh, I mean, you guys like besides music, as you know, like with the hobbies and stuff. Is there any particular um, hobbies that you guys like to do on your off days, or just? <laughs> well, I mean, I'm, yeah, I forgot to mention, I'm actually a big, uh, I'm a Big hockey fan, uh, like uh, being, being in Canada, probably 
typical. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a big Leaf fan, so like you know, they 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 have you know average three games a week, so that's you know three nights three nights a week is dedicated to that. I'm uh, sitting down, I'm you know shutting off my phone, I'm watching the game. So uh, yeah, there's uh, that's that's one of the things I I yep. enjoy doing. I, uh, I I mean I like to work out too. I find I man, it doesn't sound like a hobby, but I, I just feel as much as I hate bringing myself to have to do it. But when I do do it, it, it really does. Uh, you know, it's one of those things. Like I said, that keeps me in that positive mindset and kind of find that bit of happy place in in your head. Because after you're done, you know, your workout, you're like, I'm glad I did it. it. It sucked going into it, but I'm glad I got it over with. And now I can have those cupcakes that are sitting in, in the fridge that I can't wait to, to have. But, um, <laughs> you know, no, it's, I, I like to keep busy and um, like learning new things. Like, especially I'm, I'm kind of I'm trying to get myself into more like a reno, reno, like just little upgrading of things in the, in the house, you know, flooring, tiling and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> Learn it all on YouTube and, and stuff like that. But, you know, <laughs> so, uh, but anyway, still just trying to yeah do some reading too and I, I don't know just trying to keep busy and that's basically what uh yeah anything to <laughs> it's, it's mostly just relaxing going to the beach really what am i saying <laughs> <That's my hobby. laughs> uh, is there a good place up there in ottawa that has a good beach or you know i think there's a lot of beaches in, in ottawa yeah like uh Mooney's Bay is the big one where they have the big volleyball tournament every uh, every summer in yeah. July usually, and uh, they get they get radio stations down there, and I think country radio stations go there, and there may be a rock stations here, I'm not sure, but anyways, they get the whole setup there, the tents, the radio stations, and they got people playing volleyball everywhere, and it's just like the biggest. I think they they say it's the biggest volleyball tournament in North America. I think I think so, yeah, one of them. which is crazy because oh. I would never think that, but. Yeah, there's a few beaches. I mean, there's always that issue every summer because there's like a high, not E. coli, but there's like uh, something in the water that makes it not too safe. Or clean, the cleanliness is not the best to go in and swim in. So, but you never know if that's just someone telling you that or I go in anyways. And then, uh, I come out with a 11th toe. So, whatever. Uh, <laughs> No, but there there are several beaches and a lot of really nice ones. So it's uh, I just go to the ones that are closer to where I am because you don't want to drive too far to go to a beach because the drive home always sucks because you're like tired and burnt out and you don't want to like drive too far. So it's nice to either if you can walk to a beach, it's awesome. So oh yeah, yeah definitely not. <laughs> um, so you guys said that this summer you would have uh, so hopefully some concerts planned coming out and. With the new music and everything, and anything you guys kind of want to let some fans know about, or yeah, uh, or I like, guess, I guess we have a little uh, in August, we have a little mini tour that we're uh, we're planning. It's gonna be up in northern Ontario. Uh, you probably never heard of any of these places, but uh, there's um, what's the first one? Uh, it's, it's like a sunflower farm. Oh, yeah, like a, yeah, sunflower farm, sunflower farm. farm. Uh, yeah, pretty cool. We're playing an acoustic set there with the band, full band, but acoustically. Unplugged, yeah, be pretty, yeah, unplugged. So that'll be fun. And then we head up to Manitoulin Island, which is, uh, I guess it's probably, I, I think it's the largest freshwater island in, in North America. So, what is cool. it the largest things in North America? <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah, so pretty good North American fact. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> For educational uh, tips. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so we got to show up there, and then we go on to Akron, Ontario. So it's it's a three three days in a row. Um, so it's like we haven't done that since we became uh, since we started we became a country band. So uh, that'll be our first mini tour. We're looking forward to that. Yeah, a lot, a lot of big um, acts actually we were playing with, yeah, like right, uh, yeah. on the bill. Actually, it's our first time. I think the Rec Laws are going to be headlining, and we're playing just like a few hours before them. Um, yeah, there's a lot of great art. The Wilkinsons, who we used to listen to when we were yeah. kids, like it was like a brother, a sister, and a dad. Um, and now they're they're playing there, so it's just a weird kind of thing that full circle. You're like, wow, I'm playing at a festival where I was a kid watching these this family on TV, <laughs> and they had some great songs. And uh, yeah, like who else? Is no, playing? I know. I'm trying God, to it's you can put on the spot. Eh? Right, Carolyn yeah. Don Johnson. <laughs> Carolyn Don Johnson, 
Uh, but yeah, anyways, this festival Manitou and they always bring in big acts, so it was it's great to be a part of that. So, um, oh, Lone Star, Lone Star, yeah. Lone Star. Oh, okay. So that's that's pretty cool. Nice. But yeah. Other than that, I think uh, what we want our listeners to know is that we've got some really exciting music coming out that we're going to be recording very shortly that I'm hoping to have out by at least the summer. Um, mm. or we are having, yeah, yeah. I'm saying I, but I we, I don't know. Um, <laughs> oh, it's my song. So it's me. Yeah. Uh, that's, when, that's when it starts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we're very excited to, I will give you the track title. It's called, um, it's, it ain't you. It's, it ain't me. It's it ain't me. me. It's you. And uh, it's an upbeat kind of uh, very rocky country type of song, and I think it fits well with what we're with our sound and all that. So that'll be hopefully coming out in the summer. But uh, for all of you who are curious to, to hear what we're all about, we've got music all over uh, Spotify, the stream digital. Uh, what do you call it? It's platform streaming platform. Streaming platforms, yeah. So Spotify, Apple Music. We're on YouTube. All of our music's on YouTube too. We got a few videos out there. Um, Instagram, actually, Facebook. Oh. Actually, uh, Wild Side is uh, another song that we released in the summer, and it's actually the video for it is actually one of our drive-in shows. So you can see what it was like to play to the cars and stuff like that. So we got it all on footage and us goofing off and backstage and all that. So all that is all happening in our video, Wild Side. So Lemon Cash, check us out. Um, hopefully you like us, and uh, if you're in uh, Ontario... Let us know and we'll uh, get you some tickets. Come on, Steve, you just, uh, you know, we, we got you. If you're, if you're ever in town. Well, yeah, I definitely want to get back up there, man, and check yeah. it out and see if you guys are down here in Florida. Hit me up. We <laughs> so, love that. Absolutely. And then, yeah. yeah, and people can also find you guys also on Instagram to, like, just follow the band and see behind the scenes stuff. And Absolutely. Instagram. We're always Facebook, TikTok. TikTok, for sure. Mm-hmm. Uh, Talk oh, God. And, uh, <laughs> Only fans. <laughs> <laughs> Getting risky right now. <laughs> hey, you weren't supposed to say that. I'm getting the account only now. I haven't got any pictures up yet. <laughs> and then you guys did mention that earlier that you have a song coming out pretty soon, a new one, or like, did uh, you? Yeah, we're well locked up. We just released. Uh, that's the one. Oh, that okay, just released. Out. Yeah. Funny oh, video. Uh, so, yes, because we have one more song left on the EP. Because oh. uh, we released four songs so far, and we have the fifth one. But once we release that fifth one, which is in the next com- couple of months, we're going to release it, oh, okay. and pack it as an EP and promote it as that. So, that's the, one that's nice. the, is the name of the song. And uh, yeah, that's going to be within the next couple of months. And that's more of a slow, like, hit you in the, like, pa- slow, wow. powerful, which yeah. is. See, that's, that's kind of what we try to capture. A lot of different emotions in our music. We want, like the upbeats. We like the slow, sad. We like the feel good. So we try to capture as much as we can, you know, just so we want to be that a band where, oh, I'm feeling, I'm feeling kind of happy. I know it has a song that kind of, and Wine Tonight is that too for us. It's got that tropical vibe. So if ever you're, you're on the beach, Steve, and uh, you want some tropical. Like, and some lemon catch. Oh, that's why it does act. Brown influenced and Kenny Chesney, you know, yeah. have a lot of those brothers of the sun type of music, toes in the water, oh, yeah. you know, uh, that kind of stuff. Um, Wine Tonight was our first ever release with a with a legit producer, and uh, it's got kind of some good steel pedal and some uh, tropical blends and some catchy little riffs for you. So check her out. Yeah, appreciate it. I mean, if you guys wanted to play like that song. We'll- as I kind of had it out, or if you wanted to, and, sure, uh, just to kind of give it a taste, yeah, 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 no, 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 I mean, oh, yeah. I thought you were asking me the phone, yeah, yeah, take, take it off. <laughs> Get me on this red eye flight to make things all right. What I need. 
Cause I'm thinking about sitting on the beach on a chair, relaxing while the sun beats down on your back. I can't help but sit back and laugh here. Yeah, could this be right? Could have been the one tonight. Could have been something strong. Could have been a little beach at parties, kept us up till dawn. It could have been the one tonight. It could have been something strong. It could have been a little something memories kept us singing on. Could have been the one tonight. Oh. We flipped the corn heads while we failed Mexico. It doesn't really matter to me. A bag's a pack, baby, let's just go. We yellow thrust and mess apart from all. But your brothers say they want something more. Just soak up the sun and enjoy the ride. Oh, right now we're in hysteria Cause we found a deal on Expedia We got us all the buzz flowing into you, yeah It just feels like it could have been the one tonight It could have been something strong It could have been a little piece of parties Kept us up till dawn It could have been the one tonight It could have been something strong It could have been a little something Memories kept us singing on now take me away, cast my worries in the way. They were cocking up for seven long days. It could have been a one tonight, it could have been something strong. Could have been a little something memories kept us singing on. It kept us singing on. It could have been something strong. It could have been a little speech at party kept us up till dawn. It could have been a one tonight. It could have been something strong. It could have been a little something memories kept us singing on. It could have been a one tonight. Whoa. Tonight. Oh, oh, oh. oh, that was awesome, guys. <laughs> yeah, I really appreciate that. Um, yeah, that was a really good song. And definitely, like you guys said, it's just a really good beach song. And yeah, man. Yeah, really upbeat. But yeah, appreciate it. Uh, and thank you guys for joining me on the show. Uh, oh, thank just, you. Yes, yeah, probably stay a little bit on the talk. But uh, yeah, I hope everybody enjoyed Lemon Cash. And I'll be putting the links down in the description so you guys can go out and follow them, check them out. Really awesome group. And like they said, they got some new songs coming up. And as always, guys, Ushkebehe and cheers. And have a great night. Thanks, Steve. Nice meeting you. Thanks for having me.